quick look at SkyGo. It's announced this morning. Only seems to work with certain handsets though at the moment. We can see the channels available at the moment. Sky One, Sky Living, Sky Atlantic, all the Sky Sports channels, ESPN, Sky Movies, and down the bottom here we've got Sky News and Sky Arts One. Uh, we've got some highlighted shows here. Let's scroll through. And they're all separated out into their relevant categories down the bottom here. Um, you have to sign in with your Sky ID. We've got a settings screen here which lets you manage the devices and your parental control to stop kids seeing things they shouldn't be. Let's just try and fire up um, uh, Sky News. Um, we've got a 3G connection at the minute, quite a weak one. We'll see if that actually lets us um, watch a show. And here we go, it loads up like that. And the picture is not too bad, considering. Um, a little bit blocky when the movement is quite rapid. And we can... Let's see if we can do anything on here. Press menu. No, it doesn't seem to do anything. Touching the screen doesn't seem to do anything. But it at least lets you watch uh, TV on the move. And you can watch Sky Sports. Obviously, if your subscription allows that. And Sky Movies, if your subscription allows that too. So that's Sky Go on the Galaxy S2 here and as the stream actually loads up and we give it a little bit longer you can see the resolution's got a little bit better let's try and zoom in see if this uh, camera will refocus not too bad at all